and bear here. What do you have got today? We are going back to one of our favorite restaurants in the pavilion we never go to. Via Napoli. I don't know why we don't come here more. They got good drinks. That's what counts. But we're going to Via Napoli. It's time for some pizza. Let's go and get it. You sure you plan? Sure, the girl. Bella notte. garlic focaccia bread. Vegan we asked. And then we have the balsamic with oil. I feel like this, the ratio is off. Like you should have more balsamic. Mm. So good though. Beautifully seasoned. Tastes amazing. The bread tastes fresh. Very well done. Very light. I love making focaccia bread at home, and this is a very well executed focaccia bread. As the princess always says, or maybe I say it behind her back, bread makes the world go around. This delicious dip. Does need more balsamic, but I love how crisp the outside of the bread is, but still super soft in the middle. Super strong garlic, just the way we like it. It's definitely not garlic light. If you think garlic bread is too garlicky, this might be too much for you. But this is delicious. A nice start to dinner. Three out of five plus. We have a Cabernet Sauvignon, a white wine, and a Prosecco champagne. I'm going to start with the Prosecco. Very fruity, delicious, not too bad. Um, a little light on the flavor. Does not taste like champagne, but very delicious. White wine has the same fruits in it as the Prosecco. I actually think this is the Prosecco because this one is carbonated, so I think it's the other way around. The first one was the white wine, this one's the Prosecco. This one's good, nice carbonation, very delicious. Lastly, we have the cab. The cab is good. The cab is a little watered down, but it's still not bad. Very interesting flavor to it. It's not too strong. It's not too light either. Nice balance, nice introductory cab for those who've not dabbled in the cab world before. So we have the princess's dream here. A charcuterie board basically with sangria or board period she wants all the boards and can you blame her look at this this could ruin your sunday afternoon or monday tuesday wednesday any afternoons really so let's get to it something about that one i just don't gel with it's a sangria, but it tastes like a pre-made box sangria. Not high on my list. Two out of five plus. Okay. It's got a bit more texture and flavor to it. Give that one three out of five. As for this deep red. When you can taste it on the back end, it's sort of like the red wine, but it does taste a little watered down. I have to read the prep test. I don't know what it is. Maybe they sat for too long before coming out. The flavors feel muted on all of these. It's not bad, but I like to come and get it again to see if it's any different, like another time that we come. I'm not in love with it though, but still, I give it a two and a half out of five pause overall. Melty strawberry limoncello. Oh, I like this a lot. This is like a strawberry lemonade. Oh, I almost want to steal this from Bear. It's that good. He's not going to want to share this with me at all. 
it's like one of those like uh, legit fruit um, like uh, like fruit bars like the frozen ones that's exactly what this tastes like strawberry fruit bar strawberry is one fruit that I will never complain about in the glass I know I go back and forth on this but I guess it really depends on the drink now this makes me feel fancy I know it's just basically a Lemonade, strawberry, and ice in a glass. But this, the bear lights. Mm. So I'm gonna get a four and a half out of five balls for me. This is this close to making my bear necessities list. Hello, beautiful salad. I love that this salad isn't fully mixed, so I can toss it myself, or I could just not. It's very nicely and evenly dressed, you can tell. I'm gonna grab some cucumbers and some tomato. I don't want any of these olives or pepperoncinis or I guess more tomatoes. I'm just gonna try the leaves with the dressing because it is a balsamic dressing. I do feel salad spoiled now after bice. It's balsamic and vinegary. Well, obviously balsamic is vinegar, but it has like a nice like combo of flavors. Evenly dressed, not too wet. I rather like this salad. I would recommend this salad if you're coming here and you're in a salad mood. <laughs> So one thing about ordering food for two is I get to take everything the princess hates. So I'm gonna take some leafy greens, I'm taking all the peppertinis, and a huge scoop of the olives. Because we all know that's where all the real flavor is. And I'm gonna still a little bit of tomatoes here. Myself a nice punchy salad on a plate. Love the color different color leaves and it's got a lot to it. It doesn't really seem like much but you got the mixture of cucumbers and the different kinds of greens, different color olives and the pepperonis. I am ready for this and I'm a bear that loves rabbit food. Ooh. Got some seeds in there. And I was worried this how it was overdressed because of how wet it looked. But everything still has a crunch to it. The cucumbers, the olives. Remember, Sydney has that nice bright bite to it. The sort of like mid to front of the mouth spice. Probably like a three out of ten on the spice scale. But it gives you a nice little high even though it's not that spicy. I love the dressing. It's just enough without being too much. Still letting the salad be a salad. This is what you really want. And if I wanted a cup of dressing, I would just order that. But this, this is good. Three out of five plus. Personally, I'm feeling like the salad looks a lot better when you toss it. Still very evenly dressed though. A little on the excessive side, but not too bad. Oops. I just wanted to be known that my fat ass ordered this entire pizza for me and I wasn't really intending to share with Bear. But I have to because, you know, that's why we're here, right? As we know, this is a lovely Adaya Chezza. I'm just going to fold this here. Mmm. The sauce is a little tastes like a generic marinara. Not crazy season. The diet cheese, you know, is diet cheese. I wish it was shredded Mykonos moss because it would be much better. I love the fresh basil. 
I will never turn down an opportunity to have a beautifully wood-fired pizza, which is what this is. So, this massive party-sized pizza better indicate a party in my mouth. Now, I don't have a pizza test, but if I did, it would be failing. Mmm. Oh, it's definitely a nice deep, like, you can taste the wood fire, the smoky tomato. I can use a few more seasonal sauce sauce. It does just feel like tomato sauce, but everything combined, the basil, the cheese, tomato sauce, and this wonderful, delicious crust. That is the full pizza experience. It does taste plant-based, so it's, I'm just not going to be one of those cheeses that fools you in the beginning that you're not eating. But as far as plant-based pizzas go on Disney property, I still think this is God tier. Three and a half out of five plus. That's it? Just three and a half? I said what I said. And to all the haters out there, I want you to know that I did this for you. This is the final boss of pizzas. No, it's not ham and pineapple. It's even higher than that. The final boss is final boss. We have prosciutto and cantaloupe. On a white pizza. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought about this. But seeing the combination, I absolutely could not say no. Knowing full well that some of you are clutching your stomachs right now. Are screaming blasphemy into the camera because ham and pineapple to basically ham and cantaloupe. The pizza is personal sized. I will say that these slices of prosciutto are not. I wish it was better sliced because it's like. It's gotten a force. <laughs> and a pizza like this. I guess maybe that's the way it's designed. It's got a little cheesy pull. There we go. There's a nice shave of cheeto, nice thin slices of cantaloupe. The white sauce, you got arugula in there. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but I'm ready for it. Mmm. That has to be the weirdest pizza I've ever eaten in my life. Weirder than anchovies. Weirder than broccoli on pizza. But honestly, I low-key love it. The cantaloupe does not fight the prosciutto at all. It actually mixes very well. It's, not, it's actually less overpowering than pineapple. And mixes well with the cheese and the prosciutto. I'm gonna give this a solid four out of five claws. If you wanna discuss your friends, this is the way to go. Hello everybody. So that's been the Annapolis. It was amazing. It didn't disappoint. The pizza was as solid as it was last time. The drinks are so amazing. And the service is excellent. We don't have much to lose here. I have hiccups. Yes, she does. Apparently, uh, the pizza was a little bit too good I for her. I ate a little too fast. <laughs> she was absolutely devouring that pizza. But I was devouring the salad. The salad. And then tried them pizza. And here we are now. Yep. Hello. But we want to know what was your last experience of Vienna Apple? Let us know in the comments. If there's any other place around Epcot World Showcase you'd like us to go or any world, anywhere Disney World, period, that's going to be a place to let us know. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Between the hiccups. And don't hiccup. You heard the girl. Yeah.